Hello, and welcome to my video on how to trade on decentralized exchanges. In this video, we're going to walk you through the steps of everything you need to get started to trade on a decentralized exchange, from installing the wallet, to funding the wallet, to connecting the wallet to the exchange, to initiating the very first trade. We're going to walk you through it all, and we're going to start with Apollo X, which is fully decentralized using the MetaMask wallet, one of the most popular decentralized cryptocurrency wallets. Now to start, you will go to ApolloX.Finance and you'll be greeted with this page. We're going to go ahead and click on go to version one because that will let us actually trade, well, fund the wallet with Ethereum and then start trading from whatever crypto pair we choose I opt to trade BTC USDT to maximize my Bitcoin gains, as that is what I'm always watching, really the only cryptocurrency I'm interested in holding long term, and I get the most enjoyment out of trading Bitcoin to gain more Bitcoin. But as you can see here, you can trade any number of these cryptocurrency pairs. and. Here is where you'll set your leverage for the amount of leverage you'd like to use for the trade. I don't recommend going very high. The higher your leverage, the more likely you could get liquidated. I usually keep my leverage nice and low, around 5%. And then with that, you don't actually have to set that right now. I'm just showcasing it. But the very first thing you'll need to do is connect to your wallet. So first we will go to the Ethereum blockchain and you set that right here you also have the options of using the bnb chain or any of the rest we're going to focus on ethereum in this video and then we will hit connect wallet and here are all of the wallet options that you can use to connect to this decentralized exchange with we're going to use metamask as it is the most popular and in my opinion one of the first ones that you should familiarize yourself with. So go ahead and click on that and that will bring up the MetaMask website. And then you click download for Chrome. If you're using Chrome, it will say download for Firefox or Brave. If you're using one of those browsers, any of the browsers work perfectly fine. Click download and it will install MetaMask as a plugin. And Click add extension. And there you go. That's been added. And it will open a new tab automatically. I like to pin my extensions so they're always accessible. So if you click on this again, it will just open the new tab when you first install it to set it up and then click agree. And as you can see, the Fox will follow you wherever you go as it's watching your cursor but yes click create new wallet agree you're going to set a password and that is so that if anyone else accesses your computer they need to input the password before they can access the wallet create new wallet and then whenever you create a cryptocurrency wallet you are given a seed phrase and that seed phrase is used to restore your wallet should anything happen to your device, um, I recommend doing that. And that clicking this button will display the wallet seed phrase. And then you write that down on a piece of paper and store it somewhere secure. I'm not going to do that because I'm recording a video. But for the sake of the video, I will have it remind me later. And the new wallet has successfully been created. All right. And done. You can go ahead and click enable, enhance transaction protection. And then here you're greeted with your wallet. And if you click here, you can see your wallet, in the drop down menu that's always available. Click through these things, you can read through them. It's just the very first time you install the wallet. Then here or here is your Bitcoin address. Now you will copy that address by clicking on it. And you can send that address to another wallet you have or a friend or 
whatever you'd like, send it to someone, and they can use that address to send Ethereum to this wallet. If you don't have a friend that can send you any cryptocurrency and you don't have any in another wallet, you would simply click buy. And this will allow you to purchase Ethereum or whatever cryptocurrency you should choose. But in this video, it's for Ethereum directly within the MetaMask wallet. So you would select your amount, the coin you wish to purchase. We're doing Ethereum. Um, how you wish to purchase it, debit or credit card, PayPal, bank transfers, however. And then you would click, well, I guess you would click continue. And that will walk you through all the steps on how to purchase it. This updates every 30 seconds for the latest quote to get you the best price, most current price. But that's how you would purchase it for the first time if you need to get your hands on some cryptocurrency. I'm not actually going to purchase any in this video as I already have some in another wallet. I will send over to this one. But yeah, I'm sure you could figure out the rest from here as far as walking through the steps. The wallet will walk you through everything on how to make the purchase. I'm sure you just enter your debit or credit card or however you choose to purchase it, PayPal information or bank information if you choose those routes and it will send you the corresponding cryptocurrency. So let's go back to the wallet. What I'm going to do is copy this address and I'm going to send a hundred dollars over to this wallet from another wallet that I have. Okay. So let me open my other wallet. Enter a hundred dollars to send hundred dollars worth of Ethereum. That will be point zero oh point zero two six ethereum a hundred dollars is now let me confirm that transaction all right that is sending all right and we have just received that transaction so there we have it point zero two six ethereum which equals 100 us dollars now what we'll have to do is we have to actually close out the browser, well, restart the browser to access and connect it to this wallet for the first time since we just installed it. So go ahead and close your browser and reopen it and then go back to this address here. We'll do that now. All right. Reopening the browser and entering the address of Apollo X dot finance, go back to Ethereum and click connect wallet and MetaMask. And then we will enter our password that we created. And you'll have to do that every time when you initially open the wallet while in the browser se session. Go ahead and click next to connect the website to MetaMask. Confirm. All right, and then it is going to ask you to sign a request to connect the website to your account. Click sign. And now we have our MetaMask wallet connected to the Decentralized Finance Exchange or DEX. Now we have Ethereum in this wallet, so we're going to click on Ethereum. And we're going to deposit into the wallet in the decentralized exchange. So we go ahead and confirm that there's going to be a fee to transfer that. There's always a small gas fee whenever transacting on the Ethereum blockchain. And that is submitting the transaction now. And once that is done, we will be able to start trading on the decentralized exchange. And again, it didn't ask any identifying information, no name, email address, or anything associated with that. It is just using your MetaMask wallet, which also didn't ask any identifying information to connect to the exchange. Although if you had purchased Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency through the MetaMask wallet, then you would be providing your personal details. 
There we go. Now that has been confirmed. So we'll go here and we'll wait just for a second for it to come in as it's been sent. And it can take a minute for it to show up. It will show up right here under assets. Right now we have no assets. Make sure ETH is selected. You can also click here to review all of your assets. And as you can see, zero ETH so far. It'll just take a moment and then we'll be off. While we're waiting for that, let's go through and look at some of the other options. Here's the original view. I like to keep mine on trading view because I use trading view otherwise, and I'm most familiar with trading view tools. It's the most popular. And then you have all your tools here. Close that and you can draw on the charts and yeah, do whatever you wish to do from there. Here are all of your tools that are available in the decks and here I like to set my leverage. You can go all the way up to a hundred percent. You'll just get liquidated instantly. Um, I like to keep mine responsibly low at five X or what I consider responsibly low. That is up to you. Oh, and as we can see, the account equity is at 73 us dollars which should be 0 0.02 Ethereum, I believe. Go here. All right. So now that we have um, Ethereum in our account, we have a balance of 0 0.02 Ethereum. Go back to positions, and that will show our open positions once we open one. So say we want to purchase Bitcoin. We would go here. And slide this slider to, do we want to purchase 1%, 2%, 3% of Bitcoin? We have approximately $73. Um, so if we purchased 25% of our equity, we would hit buy or long. And that will place a purchase at 71000 $225. Place a limit order there. Um, here are, you can click here or here. And as you see, the limit order price will adjust. But so if we want to purchase a little bit of Bitcoin at $71,326, we would hit buy. And there we go. We now have a Bitcoin order that we purchased. 0 0.001 Bitcoin, which is on margin. And that is how you purchase. Now, if you want to place an order to sell the Bitcoin, say we want to sell it when it hits 73,677. We just type that in here 73,677. I would go to reduce and then 100% of my position, I would sell. And that will place an order when or if Bitcoin hits this will automatically sell what I have. And then if I wanted to buy more Bitcoin, say I wanted to buy at 6,000, if it drops down there or 60,000, sorry, I don't think it'll drop to 6,000. I can go and purchase, we'll say 50%. And there you have it. It placed an order to purchase if we drop down to 6,000. So that's how you buy and sell to cancel the order. You would just click the X here. That cancels the order. So now I've purchased a tiny position in Bitcoin. And the order is open. If I wanted to marketplace an order, I would simply go, say I wanted 100% of the position, I would just click sell and that will automatically sell everything immediately. If I want to limit that will sell when, once it hits that price. And then you can set stop losses also. And that is it. That is how you trade from a decentralized exchange using decentralized cryptocurrency using a decentralized wallet. Now, once you want to withdraw, you'll have to make sure all of your positions are closed. If I hit market right here, it will market close out all of my positions at the current price. 
if I hit limit, it will allow you to close it out at the limit amount that you choose. I'm going to just hit market. That will close out everything. There we go. Everything's closed. And then you're free to withdraw your funds once everything's closed out. And that is simply how you trade. Uh, once you hit withdrawal, it will automatically go back to your wallet address as it's connected to your wallet. So you don't have to worry about it getting lost or anything like that. You just withdraw, like the coins you wish to withdraw, max, confirm, and that's it. It's going to withdraw a little bit less than you um, have because there is that small gas fee that you have to pay when you withdraw. But yeah, that is how you trade on a decentralized exchange. I hope this video has helped you and thank you for watching.